But first up this half hour, we start in Fairfax County where the family of a mother who was killed in a hit and run is looking for answers more than a month after that incident. Fox 5 Sierra Fox is live in Fairfax after speaking with the victim's family. Sierra. Tonight I spoke with the victim's son and daughter. They are heartbroken and devastated. They say they never expected a deadly crash involving their own mom to happen right outside their home. 63 year old Mary Wong spent more than a month fighting for her life while in a coma at the hospital. She lost that battle Monday. Now her son and daughter are sitting side by side, grieving the loss of both parents. Their father died of a heart attack back in December 2021. Every day has been a struggle. Every day waking up, facing this reality. It's sad and shocking and it's, it's scary and it's hard to imagine life into the future without them. Just two days after Christmas, on December 27th, 2023, their mother was hit by a car while she was walking home from work at the intersection of Huntsman Boulevard and Brittlewood Drive in West Springfield, Virginia. She had been hit hard enough where she flew around 40, 50 feet. The driver left Wong in the middle of the street and that suspect is still on the run. 100% pure evil. Whoever did this was someone that was extremely negligent, someone who is extremely irresponsible, very cowardly, never really thought about how this would impact the family and never really tried to take accountability for it. While the search continues for the person responsible, Wong's loved ones are remembering her as a dedicated and religious family woman, as well as a great cook with a pure heart. She was selfless. She was very resolved in everything that she did. It's not easy moving across the country to a place where you don't understand the language, you don't have any family members or friends. You start from scratch, you work, do your best to make a living here, and that takes a lot of sc scrappiness. At this time, investigators have not released any description of the suspect or vehicle involved, but they are asking people to keep an eye out for a car with front end damage. The family, as you can hear, is desperate for answers. They've been passing out these flyers all around the community. On here, it says there's a reward of $2,000 on the line, and they say they're willing to put even more on the line for anyone who comes forward and helps them solve this case. Back to you. Thanks for sharing that information, Sierra.